Welcome to Sergeant Greenleaf's installation of the SNG 2890B locking system. This locking system integrates both secured entry along with one motion egress. The SNG 2890B was designed to federal specification FFL 2890B. Today we'll be installing this device on a demo door, specifically a type 4 unit integrated with a panic bar. Let's begin. Upon opening the box, you will find these three documents. The operating instructions, the installation instructions, the installation template, panic bar, exterior escutcheon, exterior mounting plate with exterior handle cam, panic mechanism cover, panic mechanism with panic mechanism shim, exterior spindle, end cap with additional mounting components, lock housing, mechanical assembly, access control housing with access control assembly, strike, panic interface mechanism, combination lock cover, interior center cover, access control cover, the 2740B compliant locking device which is included in your 500 series installation, T25 accessory pack, T26 accessory pack, T27 accessory pack, additional keys. Before installing our 2890B device, we must drill our mounting holes in the door. Select the correct interior installation template and tape to the interior door surface. The template must be 1 seconds of an inch within specified template measurements, as this is crucial to the alignment of the 2890B device. Using a punch, Mark holes A, B, and C. After your holes have been punched, you will need to drill the holes into the door. Hole C should go through the door completely. Holes A and B, you should only go through the first surface of the door. Position of the exterior template is based on hole C, which we drilled through the door. Once in position, align the template vertically. Punch and drill holes A and B. These will match with the A and B holes we drilled from the interior. Some doors will require strike brackets to reinforce the mounting surface or to clear door seals. To begin our installation, we must first cut our spindle to length. The spindle length should be the door thickness plus 5 eighths of an inch. Once we have this measurement, use a hacksaw to cut the remaining length. Depending on the handing of the door, you may need to rotate the handle cam. In our installation, our handle is oriented correctly. Verify that the handle on the exterior mounting plate is oriented correctly. If not, remove your four screws, rotate the handle, and reinstall. Locate the mechanical assembly and remove the two screws. This will separate the interior mounting plate from the mechanical assembly. The interior mounting plate will be installed on the interior of the door. Align exterior mounting plate assembly to the through holes on the door. From the interior side, use a flat blade screwdriver to adjust the four depth adjusters until they are flush. The depth adjusters will accommodate a door one and three eighths up to two inches thick. 
Next, position the interior mounting plate on the door, align with the four depth adjusters. Place a tabbed washer in each of the four mounting holes with the small tab in the adjuster slot. Install the four screws loosely through the door to the exterior mounting plate assembly. Once our interior mounting plate is installed, level the interior and exterior mounting plates. Once our level is confirmed, tighten down the mounting screws. Install your spindle through the spindle hole. On the interior mounting plate, punch and drill two additional mounting holes. On the exterior, punch and drill the additional mounting holes. On the exterior of the door, install your escutcheon plate. If we have an optional rim cylinder, we will now install it. This rim cylinder is not included with your standard 2890B 500 series installation. Locate the access control assembly. We will need to remove the access control module. Once we have this removed, set parts to the side. Locate the mechanical assembly and orient it based upon your application. Once we have the mechanical assembly oriented, we can now position the lock housing at the top of the mechanical assembly and the access control assembly at the bottom. Flip the assembly over and secure with the four screws. Once we have all screws in, we will install on the interior of the door. Mounting the complete assembly on the door, we will need to locate the mounting holes on the mounting bracket. Position the combined assembly over the interior mounting plate. Align the exterior spindle with the square hole on the mechanical assembly and ensure the rim cylinder tab extends through the hole in the access control housing. Install your mounting screws. To anchor the two end houses, we will first punch the four holes After punching, remove the combined assembly and drill the punched holes. Make sure you remove the device when drilling the punched holes. Drilling the holes with the device installed may cause debris which will damage the device in the future. Our mechanical assembly is now secure to the door. We want to install our access control unit. When installing the access control assembly, Make sure that the flat end of the bolt is facing the hinge side of the door. To help with the installation, go ahead and unlock the access control assembly. Next, we want to connect our cables to the PCB board. Once we have our cables connected, we will insert the access control into the access control housing, making sure that the bolt is extending up into the mechanical assembly. Align the rim cylinder tab through the slot on the access control. Route the cables to the PCB. The access control assembly could be connected to a 1224 volt power supply and authentication device. For complete wiring information, refer to access control wiring on page seven. The access control assembly is now installed. Our last step is to secure the cover 
to the access control housing. In our installation, we are installing Sergeant Greenleaf's 2740B high security lock. Sergeant Greenleaf's 2890B is also compatible with Kaba's X10. The 2740B and Kaba's X10 will make your device GSA compliant. The device can also be installed with any other high security locking device, depending on your installation requirements. We now need to attach our bolt extension to the high security combination lock, which we are installing. When installing the bolt extension to your high security lock, ensure that the tab on the bolt extension is facing the opening side of the door. The spindle gear can be used for compatible devices such as the Sargent and Greenleaf 2740B lock. We can use the bolt extender to lock the 2740B lock from the inside of the door. Temporarily attach the panic bar to the interior mounting plate. Once we have it temporarily attached, level the panic bar assembly. Mark the panic bar channel bracket hole location. Drill and tap the holes. Once we have the holes drilled, reinstall the panic bar and then secure the panic bar channel bracket to the door with the two architectural bolts. Verify the interior, verify the orientation of the interior center cover and panic mechanism shim. Align the panic mechanism shim to the interior center cover. Insert the short spindle. Align panic mechanism to panic mechanism shim. Now flip the cover over and secure the pieces together. When installing the interior center cover assembly to the mechanical assembly, ensure that the exit module engages the spindle and panic mechanism. You may need to extend the exit module spindle to engage the panic mechanism on the push bar. Secure the end cap to the panic bar channel bracket. Once the end cap is secure, install the panic mechanism cover. You will secure the panic mechanism cover to the panic mechanism. In our installation, our holes are already marked and drilled for the strike. For your installation, you will need to position the strike on the frame with the bolt extended into the strike. Align the strike with equal space top and bottom of the bolt. Mark the strike's position reference line on frame. Retract the bolt and open the door. Realign the strike to the reference line you just created. Drill your punched holes. Align the strike spacers and strike to previous drill holes on the door frame. Spacers may be needed to adjust for clearance between the strike and lock bolt. These are not required for every installation. Install the remaining screw. Close your door and engage the lock with the strike. Once we completed our Sargent and Greenleaf 2890B installation, it's time to verify the functionality. When verifying the functionality, if working by yourself, lock the door open. If you're working with a partner, 
have your partner stand on the inside of the door when testing. First, verify that the handle is locked. Next, dial off the 2740B lock. With our 2740B device in the unlock position, check to make sure that the handle is locked. After checking the handle, use your access card or your key cylinder to unlock the access module. Open the door. On the inside of the door, turn the key cam to the lock position and verify that you cannot extend the 2740B device. Throw the key cam back to the unlock position. If you have installed a Sergeant Greenleaf 2740B device, you can use the bolt extension pin to extend the bolt from the inside of the door. Your 2740B will now be in the lock position. Ensure that your panic bar is working correctly by pressing in and opening the door. Your Sergeant Greenleaf 2890B device is now installed and functional.